Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am going to be pouring one side of this bamboo serving paddle. Um, I painted on one of these before and it sold and the person loves it and adores it and I was like I'm gonna I really enjoyed painting that and I learned a lot painting that so <laughs> it's time to paint another one and what I would like to invite you guys to is see what I learned when I painted the last one <laughs> um, so as I say this is a bamboo serving paddle I bought this in a local store here in Rotorua um, but you know these sort of things are all over the place so uh, I may or may not hunt it out and pop it onto uh, an Amazon link affiliate link down the bottom but I don't know whether I will find one or not identical but just know if there is a link down below it will not be specifically for this one highly surprised if I found this brand um, but what I know that I need to do is I need to block off the hole and this time around I'm actually going to tape up the the back it's interesting isn't it the the leather strap has left a mark and I think I like that one better so I am going to paint on this side so let's have a look um, first first things first is to tape up that hole uh, I think what I might do is just time warp this next bit uh, so that you guys get to see me doing it but don't have to endure the pains and sufferings of um, every moment of it so let's time warp plastic on the black back um I don't know that you can tell in that hyper thing but it's not the bestest of bestest of bestest of taping jobs um but what it will do is at least limit the amount of paint that gets onto the back here uh in the last one I spent hours and hours and hours sanding the Back and I did not enjoy that process so anything that avoids you doing what you don't want to do uh, and still get the same result is a great idea in my book so let's just put our end back on our tape just allows me to find that end with that little bit more ease in the future so what colors oh let's turn a bit more light on the sun has gone away we are heading into summer and this week has been an interesting week with weather wise uh, yes last week it was just sun 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 we finally got the pool set up and guess what huh. It's not so excited about being sunny today at the moment. Anyway, that's okay. I'm happy with that. It was getting way too hot for me. I live in New Zealand for a reason. 
and it's how lacking in heat it is. So, what colours am I using? Dun dun dun! Surprise, surprise. My two favourite colours at the moment. Not that you can tell, but that one is violet purple and that one is turquoise. I really wish turquoise would show up as turquoise on my camera, but it doesn't like to, so we will just use our imaginations, shall we? See, even that doesn't show up. It's, it's a lot greener, the turquoise, than that in my... In real life, but that's okay. You guys are just going to have to come to Rotorua and come and see them in person. You are more than welcome, anytime. So, what I need now is I need some stir sticks to get those. Make sure those are... It's not runny enough. Let's add some more paint. And So, when I mix my paint, and I mix my paints with Floetrol and water, um, and I have a video all about how I mix my paints, um, and what I do is I mix up a whole tube of paint into a airtight jar, like those peanut butter jars, um, and then once they are mixed to the consistency that I like, when... I when I'm ready to use them, if I want silicon in them, I just pop them out into these tins and stir the silicon in, which means that I can have them either with or without silicon, depending on what I'm doing and what I'm playing with. I'm going to do the same with that one if I can find my violet. There it is. Ooh, that's much thicker. I really recommend, guys, if you are doing this style of painting, um, to try and keep your paints that you're using to a similar consistency. That way they can blend together and flow across the canvas or whatever you're painting on a lot easier. Um, what silicon do I use? So many people ask. It is available on Amazon again these days um, if you don't want to go into the condom aisle and buy it. But it is the black and pink bottle, not the green bottle. Please, please, please know that. Um, big, 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 big difference in what's in them. The green bottle's got this list of ingredients a bit as long as your arm. And the black and pink bottle has dimethicone. And that is it. <laughs> How does it get any better than that? So the other colours that I'm going to be using on this are white and black. So... Let's do it. Let's pour some paint. Now, if you saw my last video, you will recognize what I'm about to do. I loved that video. Love, 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 love the result. And my target is to get something similar all right so what i'm going to use this time is this little funnel it's a tiny little funnel it's actually designed for screwing onto your outside tap and putting water balloons on to fill them and i don't do that very often because i find it a mundane task to fill water balloons 
So one day my children will decide that they want to do that themselves and they can get back into throwing water balloons. But what I'm going to do is just not putting a lot of colour in at all, but I'm going to do it in layers. Just a few drops of white, a few drops of turquoise, white. Violet, white, going around again, turquoise, white, oh, I'm flicking white all over the place, it's not a good thing, have to get those out before we go any further, and violet. So, hands up who thinks I have not got enough paint on the board to start with. Me! Okay. So... I'm going to zoom you in to see if we can see this happening as it happens. Maybe. And I'm just going to lift very slowly, trying to keep the paint that's coming out under the black. Okay. Totally unorganized. Where am I putting this down? I don't know. Okay. Can you see where the color is? <laughs> I can't. So I'm just going to tilt. both directions just to thin it out a little bit just to spread it Let's zoom you back out again so you can see what I've, the, the amount I've tilted sorry about that all you saw was black dust is a constant pain so this is a butane torch uh, it, it's a fire breather okay we are not going to cook the paint we are not going to creme brulee the paint we, we're going to keep the flame off the paint sort of about that far away just so that the warmth um, invites the oil to rise and pops any air bubbles so that's I'm hoping that we get all that silicon that I put into the I may be dreaming you're dreaming mate I feel like an Aussie you're dreaming it's just not happening Let's do it again. This time just a single layer of each. Oh, except for the white because we're putting a why am I putting the white between the purple and the turquoise? Because I um, I love 
the colours that that creates. There we go, we're getting some leakage now. Now the colour you can see is actually only the colour that was on the bottom <laughs> bottom rim. But we are getting some cells, some colour, something happening, which is always a good start. Have another go. No, so not happening. Well, we getting something. Might just be a delicate central spot. Is that enough for you? Because it's really not enough for me. Who am I and what grand and glorious adventures can I have? I do like what's there. Come on, balance. What's going on? There was an air bubble. I'm going to put the purple in first this time.
You know what, this is really frustrating because it's just not working and it's just not as good as I want it to be. <sighs> Deep breath. Blub, 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 blub. Air bubble again. Right. This time I'm going to fill this whole thing right up. Multi-level layers. So all the expectations I have of what it will look like, how it will turn out, I destroy and uncreate all those. Alright, now, before we go any further, I just want to show you this little smear I've got over there in the in the side. That's cute. So let's do it. Kind of funky. Look at that. <coughs> Still got no colour. <coughs> oh, that's funny. Come on. Really? I'm loving the stripe we've got over there. <laughs> Talk about subtle, it's cool. that stripe we've got lots more cells happening so in order to be able to stretch those we actually need paint for them to land on
They get slippery after a while. I'm really liking these wispy ones and I'm not, like, not liking this chunk here. So, So I scraped it off and then tipped it back on. <laughs> and let's see. This is one of those paintings where I should really have put something plasticky down so I can gather up the paint without getting hunks of paper. Just trying to put some bulk in on this piece here. Sorry I've gone so quiet.
They are not pretty shapes anymore. <sighs> What's right about this I'm not getting? What's right about this I'm not getting? What's right about this I'm not getting? <sighs> okay. Nope. <sighs> what is going on with my mojo, guys? Is it time to get my mojo back? I'd like my mojo back, please. If you've been watching my channel, you'll have noticed that I have had several videos in a row. Oh, there's a hair there. Several videos in a row where I have struggled. No, it's just the bamboo. Really struggled to get something I love. Maybe I'm changing. Maybe what I love is changing. And what if nothing is wrong, guys? It's just not matching the energy of what you desire. Okay. How much paint can I go through in one pour? <laughs> okay. So, can you guys see what's happening in there? I hope so. There is a very subtleness, subtle swipe. I'm hearing someone out there saying you should have done a balloon smash into it when it was hiding. Great idea. Very glad I put plastic underneath my <laughs> on the bottom. We've got a very subtle painting here, guys. Very subtle, but I like it. I like it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. 
That's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. So. I'm gonna get you down and show it to you. Pretty sure with all that tipping, I've got all my edges covered. <laughs> Be highly surprised if I didn't. So let's get you down. Let's show you what we got. Okay. Now I'm trying to find an angle where you get the most of the painting without seeing too much reflection because it's very subtle and I'm very intrigued to see how these colors show up once it dries it's a good chance I will be letting it dry and repainting but that is always an option on any painting and I really do quite like the subtlety of this how does it get better what would it take for this to dry obvious <laughs> I had one painting that I really really liked and but and it was really subtle on black and it dried and you can hardly tell it's even there So I'm going to let it pop it over somewhere before I clean up so I don't make the same mistake as I did in the last video uh, and I'll be back to show you the dry result in three, two, one. All right, it's dry. I have taken the back off. I in fact I videoed taking the back off. Also I thought but I didn't press the record so you missed that bit. <laughs> So before we look at the front, let's have a quick look at the back. It's very, very tidy. When That's the bit of plastic that was on the back, so there's lots of paint in there. Um, I got a little bit on there with my fingers when I was taking the plastic off, and the edges need a bit of touching up, but that's nothing compared to what it would have been if I hadn't covered the back. So there you go. Um, definitely worth covering the back, I would say. One of the things I did notice, before we get into looking at the actual painting, uh, if I can get it to focus. Hello. There are actually, I might get it better up here, lines of bubble, tiny, tiny, tiny little air bubbles. Not even, well, Okay, so this is what I call an air bubble. But there's also little lines of, uh, let me get a bit of down here. Where is it going to be the best capture? You can just see it in here. There's tiny little dots, and that's just where the um, the shape and of the bamboo. Uh, but all of this, including the actual air bubbles and dents and bits, will just kind of vanish once we put some resin on. God, sun came out, and now it's really hard to get a, a decent picture. It's very faint, but it is there. The colours are there. Where's the best? See? There we go. We've got a little bit. I'm going to call it a mood piece. What do you reckon? Is that a good idea? Mood. Dark mood. But it's cool. I like it. I'm pleased with it. 
so there you go guys um cut just coming up next will be and that will be on monday mine time um will be our what do you call it usage of the leftovers <laughs> all that paint that was underneath this um plus all the paint in the pots i put it to good use so you get to see that in the next video so if you haven't already hit subscribe please do um there's been an overwhelming majority vote for sunday monday wednesday friday so that is what i will be doing for my four videos a week uh so please 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 hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is on um so that you know when and did you know that there's actually three notification bell types um one is always one is um customized and one is um never i think so if you hit that notification bell you'll get notified when my videos come up i am going live this coming week on one of those special days so um stay tuned i will be sending out to my mailing list mickeyart.co.nz forward slash sign up um and also to the my patreons uh all the details about that 24 hours before and um how cool is that how much fun can we have together i'm looking forward to that and i'm looking forward to being with you four times a week every week so from now on so i adore you thank you for joining me for this and i will see you in the next video bye bye